What's going on guys, Balkan Artlet here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a rebar schedule but it's not only going to give us the amount of rebar or maybe the, the count, stuff like that, but also we're going to be creating a bending schedule so that's really useful to have. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. now. I'm going to start off with uh, this uh, beam that I've already reinforced. Now, I've done this in a previous tutorial, uh, actually an old tutorial, uh, but uh, if you want to check it out, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description on how to get to this point. Now, we've got this beam that's already being uh, that's already been reinforced. Now, we need to kind of create a schedule. But before I get into that, I would just like to uh, change maybe the visibility settings. I don't like this when rebar is presented by uh, lines only. So to change this to make it uh, look a bit better, I'm just going to hold the control and select all of the rebar. And now I'm going to go here on the properties uh, panel. Uh, you've got this graphics tab and just hit edit for visibility graphics. And here uh, just check these four fields and just go OK. And now if I zoom in, as you can see, now we've got the actual rebar that, uh, that looks really nice. So this is 13 and this is 10. And yeah, let's maybe change this to realistic. Yeah, that looks cool, rusty rebar. Okay, so we've got our rebar looking nice. So now let's move on to creating this schedule. So to do a schedule, you need to scroll down a bit here in the project browser, find the schedules and quantities, right click on that, and then go new schedule quantities. And here you get this new schedule dialog. Now, once you're here, you need to scroll down and find your structural rebar schedule or structural rebar category and for the name uh, let's just call it rebar schedule I mean that works for me and then just hit OK now you get the schedule properties now I'm just going to start off with uh, just a few properties so maybe uh, let's see let's go with maybe the type that's important let's see what else can we get over here the quantity uh, where is the quantity okay here's the quantity and maybe the mark so let's see where is the mark schedule mark okay so let's load those three in and let me just move maybe the quantity to the bottom okay and then just hit okay so now we get this simple schedule and as you can see we've got uh, 50 of these uh, 10 millimeter uh, rebars and 4 and 4 of these uh, 13 millimeter uh, rebars and for the schedule mark they're all number one so I'm just going to change that a bit so I'm going to go in here into 3D and let's just select these two and change their schedule mark to I don't know number two hit apply and now if we go down to the schedule and open this up. As you can see now we've got a different mark. Now uh, this is good for a starting point but now we need to add a bit more stuff. So first for the bending schedule we need to have those images of rebar so people can see what that looks like. So when we give it to somebody that's supposed to make it uh, they want to see what that rebar looks like. So to add images of rebar uh, you need to go here into fields, edit and then search for the image field. So you've got this image field loaded in and I like to keep it on the bottom uh, so it's the last field and just hit OK. So you get this image field and then you need to click on it and you get this little uh, dot, three dots over here and just cl click that button and you get here manage images. Now you can load images of your rebar into Revit and then they're all, they will appear here on the rebar schedule. So if I go here to add uh, I'm, I can just go to desktop and find these rebar shapes. Now, if you want to check these out, if they don't come with Revit, you need to find them. So I've got them on my Patreon. So first link in the description, you can get both this project file and all of these images that uh, go along with it. So if you want to check that out, first link in the description. So I'm just going to load in shape uh, 00, 00 as well as shape 51. So I'm just going to hit open. Okay, so for the first one, uh, that's the 50 of these, that's going to be shape 51. So I'm just going to click OK. And for these two, let's just open this up and choose this one. The same thing here, 
choose this one, hit OK. Okay, so once we've got this Im these images, as you can see, it doesn't look really right because you can't see those images. So to make them uh, appear, uh, you really need to go and create a sheet. So you right click on the sheet, you go New Sheet, and uh, let's just load one in a smaller sheet. So I'm just going to go here to Tile Blocks and maybe choose, I don't know, like A3 metric, that works for me. And now find the schedule and just drag it over and you place it. And if we zoom in for the image, you can actually see the schedule. Now, uh, if I look over here, uh, you're going to see that we have this dimension A, dimension B, D, C. Here we've got only A. So we've got actual dimensions for uh, this rebar, but they're not in the schedule. And you really want to have them in the schedule. So I'm just going to go back into my rebar schedule, go again to fields, and load these fields A, B, C, and D. So for now, let's load uh, those uh, four in. And actually, I'm just going to select the image and move it down so it's the last thing in the schedule. Hit OK. And as you can see now, it's actually pulling information from our uh, from our model. So it's here they mentioning this A, B, C, D, and for uh, these ones, uh, there are only bars, so they only have the B they mention. And now if we go here into Sheets, open that up, now as you can see it looks uh, really cool because you can, uh, let's place it here, you can actually come in and see, okay, so this is the C they mentioned, let's see, so that's 220. So as you can see, that's how you get information out of this model. It's it's really cool. That's the point of Revit. Now uh, the the image here is quite small, so I like to make it larger a bit. So you need to go back to your schedule and just select the, this field. Yeah, like that, and then just extend it a bit. Uh, don't overdo it. You don't want to have it too large. So and as you can see now, it looks a bit nicer. So we've got all of that information, and just to finish off this uh, this whole look, let's add uh, some images of our actual rebar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this section. So we've got this section, let's make it smaller a bit. Yeah, kind of like that. So we've got this section of our rebar, and it's at 125, that's maybe make it a bit larger 120 yeah okay so once we have this let's load that into our sheet so let's go section yeah maybe place it like that and let's do one lengthwise so maybe place this here and let's do a lengthwise so we'll just go to level one yeah and let's create okay i'm just going to cancel out of that let's create a section like this yeah that looks really good Okay, and now let's set this to fine. Now we've got actual thickness, so this looks really good. And maybe we can extend this section a bit. Or actually, we don't need this section. I think it's a bit an overkill. So when I go to 120, yeah, let's let's just uh, make it invisible. So just go here, hide element, and maybe make this a bit smaller. Now let's see, can we fit this on our uh, sheet? If I go to level, oh no, that's section number two. Yeah, it's a bit too large. So let's go into section number two and make it 125. There we go. And now if we go back into our sheet, yeah, we can almost fit it. <laughs> let's go back again uh, just for a second. Yeah, let's do something like 130. So you can go to custom and then just type in here 30, go apply. And let's see what this looks like now. Yeah, this works. And let's just get rid of that title. Okay, so we've got, and let's fix this one up. So let's just make this disappear. It's a bit of an overkill, we don't need it. So let's go to the sheet. Yeah, this is looking really good. So now you have all of the information over here. So you've got your section. Let's get rid of the title over here again. So you've got your little uh, little section going like this, cross section. You've got a length section. And then here you've got all of the information about the, each bar. And you can actually add, uh, like in the end, you can calculate the, the full amount. So you can just go here to schedule and uh, go to fields. Let's see. 
for sourcing and grouping let's go grand totals and source by let's do by type and uh, here for the formatting uh, let's do quantities and here for the calculation let's do calculate uh, calculate totals go OK and as you can see so you've got some grand totals over here now if we go back into our sheet this is what that looks like so it's ready to go to the construction field and they can start building your uh, reinforced concrete beam okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope this was something a bit different than most of my tutorials but uh, I hope it was useful for anyone that's interesting in this type of a topic Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to download all of these files and all the images for rebar, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and I'll see you tomorrow.